Hey, what is up Wolfpack? It's me, Cal here, and today is January 15th, also known as 115 Day, or hashtag National Zombies Day. And boy, do I have a lot of exciting news and information for you guys, not only about what just came out today, but what's going to be coming out in the next update later this month, and also what's going to be coming later this year in the coming months throughout 2019. Honestly, some really exciting stuff, so let's just hop right into it. So as of today, for 115 day, Treyarch kicked things off with giving us double XP, double weapon XP, and I believe double plasma as well. They also added a brand new game mode called Gauntlet, which you complete challenges every round and unlock rewards playing through the map. And um, right now, the first one they added is on Voyage. They also changed some elixirs, um, minor changes to a few of them, such as PhD Slider now protects you from your own explosives completely. Now they also added three new epic elixirs that are actually really good. So the first one is Perk Up, that gives you four extra random perks that you don't already have. The next one is called Equipment Refresh. It refreshes cooldowns for all your equipment, perks, and special weapons for your entire team, which is pretty cool. Now the last one they added is the Conflagration Liquidation that spawns a Bonfire Cell power-up, which if you didn't know reduces the price to Pack-a-Punch and Repack-a-Punch very significantly. So next up, what we have coming in the next update later towards the end of January, we will finally have mastery camos in Zombies. I don't know why this wasn't in it from the beginning. Honestly, Gold, Diamond, and Dark Manor from my multiplayer should have been in it, just like it was in Black Ops 3. I, I don't understand, but it's finally coming uh, later this month. And also the Demon, SWAT, MP40, and the Grav, aka the Galil, will also all be coming to Zombies. And the Mastercraft variants, Reactive Camos, and Black Market Camos will be coming as well. They're also going to be adding a new perk and a new gauntlet, so I uh, can't wait to see that later this month. Now in the coming months past January throughout 2019, we're also going to be getting host migration finally, which is good to finally hear. And one thing I am very excited about, and I'm sure you guys are going to be too, we are going to be getting the ability for the host to pause the game for all players to allow, you know, for bathroom breaks or whatever you might need while playing online or in split screen. And that is just really phenomenal news. Can't wait to see that coming out later this year. We're also going to be getting more gauntlets, of course. And of course, finally, the faction system, which is similar to Destiny's faction system, if you're unfamiliar. Now we have all that confirmed information, and of course, towards the beginning of February, we should be getting our second DLC Zombies map, which is uh, rumored and leaked to be Nuketown Zombies, where we'll be playing as the Ultimus crew. Can't wait to see that coming in February as well, and all these new updates coming out the rest of this year. But hopefully you guys enjoyed and found this useful. If you did, then be sure to drop a like, especially if you're excited for what's coming in Black Ops 4 Zombies. But until next time, peace out, guys.